a big boy. He's getting heavier and heavier. And we're going to see today what we could do with a pet alligator this size. Just as a disclaimer. I don't think alligators are actually pets. I don't think they make good pets at all. We have them because we're a reptile zoo. And we could take care of them. But this day didn't start with me holding them right here. Hey, help me out. Noah, can you grab them? Yeah, Pick no. Up. Pick them up, Noah. I'm completely okay ah. over here. All right, come here, buddy. Off you go, baby. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, Arch. All right, baby boy. Noah, what are you Get doing? Get in the shot. I'm, I'm good. Grab the front end. No. Grab the front end. Six feet COVID. He's getting heavy. Are you doing anything back yeah, there? I got, I got the You're tail. doing the tip of the tail? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. What is that? He's just saying, hey, what's up? I didn't need that arm anyways. Come on, Arch. You're okay, buddy boy. I guess I can get the door. Okay. I'm worried. What do you say? See what we could do with a pet alligator. He's not even that heavy. He's not even, he's not even that heavy. He's, heavy. he's heavy. Nothing to see here. Just some snacks. There's no chance. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Just here to buy an ice cream. <laughs> Just normal activities. Give me a picture show it to my son. He's never gonna believe you. His name is RJ. You can pet him. Though. Yeah, I can I grab your phone. No, you can touch it. He's sweet. Let me go grab my phone, though. Yeah, I don't have much left in it. I got an ice cream. Bill, what do you think? I brought you a store pet. You'll never have to be a theft again here, I promise you. thieves, you just uh, feed them off to this guy. Bill keeps moving slowly moving back. <laughs> it's about six and a half foot now, 200 pounds. Bob, if you pet him, I'll pet him too. <laughs> oh, I'll pet him. Look at it, he's sweetheart. See, you got him. I got, I'm kind of over my shoulder, for goodness sake. <laughs> How much weight does he weigh? Yeah, oh, too much. He weighs too much. Do you want it? Do I want it? So. It's, it's back in the cooler. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy. You want to try? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Uh, Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank you, Happy sir. Birthday. Thank Happy birthday. you. I appreciate you. What is our life? This is great. Look at him. We're just going to put him down in the park and there. <laughs> I tell you, this is worth You could spend an hour in a gym or you could carry this guy around for 10 minutes. Same exact thing. My arms hurt. My body hurts. Pure muscle and pure weight. Wow. You going to try? Sure. <laughs> Just had a tour show up that's gonna be doing a tour here in about 15 minutes. What do you say we walk over there and surprise him with RJ? I miss Mike. <laughs> Tour went out for Mike. Guys, what do you think? RJ, you wanna hold him? Hold hands out. <laughs> that way you do your pine. Oh, pretty heavy, huh? Yeah. Good job, bud. Don't wanna get that. <laughs> you know, pack. Don't go up by his mouth. Great lesson. <laughs> They've got the most job power you can deal with. Oh, Large arch. That's part of Michigan. Ain't nothing messing with them in this town. He has three legs, so he can't run very fast. Thank you. <laughs> my pleasure. My pleasure. Lori, can you help me put RJ away? No. You've been working out. You're so much stronger than me. No, that's, I already got my workout. I'm no. right there with you. I don't do that. Will anyone help me with RJ? You know what, guys? If Mike was here, he'd help me. And of course, I'm gonna show you some baby snakes because it's baby snake catching season. Got some really interesting animals on this clutch. This is just a little sinny. It was actually bred to a banana sinny enchi pinstripe. These two here are the crown jewels. These are actually banana sinny enchi pinstripe. Absolutely crazy. Look at the purple on them. Unbelievable. Then we have just a little banana enchi right here, which is really cute. We have a little just sinny pinstripe here. And then ultimately, we have an enchi pinstripe. Just exciting. I mean, really cool clutches. Every day is awesome this time of the year. Of course, we have a little children's python clutch hat. Here. Look at these guys here, just little dwarf pythons from Australia. Absolutely amazing. You guys know that we work with Stimson's Children's and Spotted Python. These guys are absolutely wonderful. We had a really nice year with the Antracia, which is all those genus. As a matter of fact, we have another club. Oh, children's pythons hatched out here too. So look at all of these little monkeys here. Just a great little python. If you want a python that stays small, almost corn snake size? Those are the ones to get for sure. And by the way, they're not called children's pythons because they're good for children, although they are good for children. It's actually because of the guy that founded them named Children. This clutch, I'm really excited about because this gives me an opportunity to talk about something which is polymorphism. These are both het for albino, but look at the difference. This almost looks axanthic, right? It almost looks like he's lacking all the yellow. See the yellow and orangey colors in this one? This one is faded right here. This actually <laughs> happened in the early days of breeding albinos. They used to call them faded albinos. And then look at this. This would be the normal albino, and this would be the faded albino. So you can basically see like these two here and these two here match, right? Almost looks like a snow or an axanthic albino ball python. The weird thing is, this will stay really nice and beautiful like an albino ball python. This faded one typically gets more contrast. It gets older and actually will be even more contrasting than this one. Just really cool. I wanted to share that with you. I haven't had faded albinos in probably like 10 years. So it was kind of a surprise to have. <laughs> 
RJ gets a bath time. He loves to go outside, he gets a little outside time. We'll give him a little bit of a wash down. They get kind of scaly, so sometimes if you actually can wash them off and actually brush them a little bit, it takes some of that scalation off. You can see kind of all over my arms, all this flakiness. That's what's basically flaking off him. So every now and then we like to just wash him off, broom him off, get all that off so he's nice and clean. It doesn't hurt him or anything like that, but again, he loves, look at, he's loving the sunshine right now. We'll leave him out here for a little bit, but we'll give him a little bit of a bath too while he's out here. Perfect for an alligator today. This one's mine, this one's Noah's. It's about right. <laughs> RJ, you loving this or what, buddy? Look at that. You look so clean. Beautiful, buddy. Yeah. Super. You bet. Hard to Get in there. Get in there. You know, just talking about Tingle, about how like weird this job is. Like one day you're like doing a tour. One day you're like cleaning some glass, helping Brian Barcheck hang a sign. And then you're out here brushing a gator with a broom. Get in that little crevice. No, Look at his yeah. eyes can like go deep in his head. Look at that. You see that? They like come out. Yeah, that's crazy. They like puff up and then like you, they suck in. Did you ever know that? Of course I did. Well, Do you I know what that second eye lid is called? It's called a nictating membrane. Yeah, 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 I knew that. Well, I knew of it. I didn't know what it was called. Are, I RJ what smoked it cigarettes? It's, it's a membrane. nicotine membrane, yes. Yeah. yes. It's a pat, like a patch. <laughs> you know what it's called when their eyes reflect back light at night. I always need my friend Savannah at Gatorland because I always forget how it's pronounced. Tapitum lucidum. Tapitum salit. What is it? <laughs> Working at the Gator Wash. Yeah, 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 yeah. After having some fun with RJ, we're down in the dungeon, so we might as well pull a ball python clutch. I love this girl. This is what they call a spide, which is a spider pipe. For whatever reason, when you breed pipe to spider and you get a spider pipe, they always just have just the head stamp and the rest of the body is white. You definitely have one little slugger here and then it looks like the rest of the eggs are good. She has a few eggs that actually got pushed out, which we'll have to candle, obviously, to make sure that the embryo is on the top. But nevertheless, a beautiful clutch of eggs all in all. Can't wait till these hatch. By the way, they're bred to drama pied, so they're all gonna be pied, but half are gonna be spied with that only that head pattern. And what we got was six eggs. It's my birthday. We're twins. Is it also my birthday? No. Happy birthday to you. For me? High fives all around. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Ashley, cut the, cut the cake. You're, you're the expert. <laughs> this will be your third time. <laughs> it's their birthday too. It, it is their birthday. Yeah, because they're bougie cupcakes. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Mike would be disappointed. I get first piece. Oh, good job, Ashley. We're getting good. Dominoes. Oh my God, I broke the spoon already. Very nice. Thank you, guys. And like I said, I cannot stress enough. These are not pets. You know, they're so cute when they're babies and they're absolutely amazing animals. But like I said, this isn't a pet, guys. This is gonna get another five foot or something like that eventually. And it's not suitable. I know sometimes people see alligators and think, oh my God, they're so cute. I want one as a pet. Trust me, this is not a pet at all. Although our RJ's amazing and he's something that I love. And the fact is, is that I don't consider this guy a pet. And I realize he is an alligator. And although he's a really friendly alligator, he's still an alligator. So we're gonna let him just kind of hang out in the sunshine because it's a beautiful day and he loves the sun. Have you ever cleaned these once? No. No. You just paint over the dirt. That makes sense. <laughs> Landlord style. Take a look at this ripper right here. This is actually a scaleless Texas rat snake that just literally hatched my hands. As a matter of fact, I actually have a TikTok on it. You can follow me on TikTok at Brian Parcher. Really cool to see this baby hatch. Look how beautiful it is. But look at there's an entire clutch of scaleless Texas rats in here. Of course, they get the vermiculite on them, so we have to wash them up and get them all set up. Pretty cool. Lots of baby clubbers hatching today, too. This is another sock headed Weblin. That's the one with the high whites on their head. Nice big white pattern which is polygenically bred to produce the most white in the animals herself, which is really cool. Absolutely beautiful. A couple little corn snakes here. They're so Look at this little monkey right here. This is just an albino corn snake here. We got, oh, <laughs> this little snow guard. And I love these guys. These are actually hypo corn snakes, which are basically just a corn snake that are lacking most of the black, but not all the black, because if they were lacking all the black, they'd be like this one, which would be a albino with an absolutely crazy mentality. Got some scaleless corn snakes here. And again, like I had mentioned earlier, that they get a little bit of vermiculite on them. They don't look nearly as nice, but when you actually dip them in a little water and get that vermiculite out, you can see this is actually what they call a diffuse or a blood red scaleless corn snake. Looks like we've got a couple of them in here. Wow, that thing is absolutely a ripper. RJ's been outside for a couple hours. It's time to get him back in. I know he had a great time out here in the sun. We're gonna try to do this more often because he loves it. Come on, RJ. And keep in mind that when we do the expansion, RJ is gonna be on display and have a gigantic enclosure. I can't wait, because people are gonna be able to love to actually interact with him for sure. What an absolutely amazing animal. But for now, let's get RJ back in his pond. Your adventure's over for the day, bud. Enjoy. 
Enjoy yourself. Always fun taking RJ out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, it's my birthday.